On top of the diaphragm pump with the first component is the exhaust valve. If we remove this piece, we can actually see the rubber diaphragm style exhaust valve that is underneath the housing. We have the exact duplicate valve and housing underneath for the intake side. If we remove the top cover of the vacuum pump, we see the actuator. It is held on by a nut and a carter key. We are going to remove the carter key and the nut, remove this seal to get the actuator out and show you how to install a new rubber seal onto the actuator. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this puller. With the aid of the puller, the actuator can now be removed. If you look further down into the vacuum pump underneath the actuator, you will see the next seal. This seals any kind of debris or fluid getting down into the crankcase of the vacuum pump and contaminating the oil down there. Also, you can see the other inlet valve that I discussed earlier. It's just the same exact duplicate parts as what's in the exhaust valve on the very top of the, the vacuum pump. For demonstration purposes, we have cut the seal on this actuator. One of the, there's a couple things that I want to discuss here and make everyone aware of that this seal goes on only one direction onto the actuator. And that direction is, if you can look closely at this seal, you'll notice that it has a slight taper to it. The bottom portion of the taper goes to the bottom side of the actuator when you install it. One of the things you'll find, these can be difficult to remove and to install. A couple of suggestions that I can give you is, if it's old and it needs to be replaced, cut it to remove it. It makes it much easier. When you go to install a new seal, what you want to do is you want to start the seal, envision that this is not cut. You would put a portion in, as you can see, it has locking uh, tabs basically on the rubber and the, and the actuator is actually grooved for the seal to fit into. You would want to start this, this ring, this rubber ring, at the 12 o'clock, you would get it pushed in. You would move down to the three o'clock and you would put a section in. You would move down to the six o'clock and put a section in. Then you would go to the nine o'clock. And then what you'll do is you'll go from the 12 to a three, you'll start working this small section in. You work a section in at a time. If you do not follow that procedure, if you were to start in one place and work your way around, this seal would be all bubbled out to the outside and you'd never get it put in. So follow my suggestion, use a vise, it makes it a lot easier to hold the actuator as you're putting the seal on.